Hello friends, I'm here to share my success story of a spouse open work permit to Canada, which I applied on my own. Beginning the new journey takes a lot of effort and not to forget the investment. I myself faced so many problems and was confused while arranging the documents. So I prepared this video to guide you all those who are in a process to apply for the spouse open work permit. So let's begin with my application timeline. On 27th December 2019, my husband landed in Canada. He has been enrolled in Georgian College, Barrie, Ontario. After that, I took a month time to apply for my visa. During this period, I completed arranging all the documents. Since we require certain documents from our spouse, it is better to wait at least for a month. On 4th February 2020, I applied for my open work permit. On the same day, I also gave my biometrics. For biometrics, we need to take appointment in VFS through their website. Later, I received an email for medical report from IRCC. There are certain verified medical clinics in your area. Make an appointment and they will forward the examination report to IRCC. Finally, on 14th March, I received an email for visa approval, just after 38 days from my visa application date. There was no limit of my happiness thinking that I will be with my husband soon. Now let's move on to an important section of this video, that is list of documents for the visa application. It is categorized into four sections. The first is applicant's document. It includes your passport, academic transcript and certificates, CV in a Canadian format, and other extracurriculum activities certificate such as trainings, workshop, volunteering works, etc. Next is IELTS. If you have already appeared for IELTS exam, then you can add it, but remember it should be of academic training. Since you are applying for the spouse open work permit, you should be able to convince the visa officer that your relationship is genuine. For this, attach your marriage pictures pictures with your families and some holiday pictures. Mainly, you have to prove them that you are husband and wife for real. And next is your MRP size picture recently taken. So basically these are the documents you already have, you just need to arrange them. Second category is official documents, which you need to prepare from various concerned offices. It has been further divided into two sections, applicant's document and the spouse document. Well, in applicant's side, most of the doc documents are the one you submitted while applying for a spouse student visa, so you do not need to worry much. So you need to have your marriage certificate, relationship certificate, property tax clearance certificate, property valuation report, income source verification. And now other remaining documents that you need to prepare are Police Clearance Certificate, Balance Certificate, Bank Statement of Minimum 3 Months and a CA Report. Here one main thing needed to be considered is you have to show the bank balance in your own account. This is because ultimately you are applying for work permit so you need to prove them that you are currently working and have sufficient balance in your own account. You should have minimum balance of 25,000 Canadian dollar. It is much better if you have payroll account, otherwise saving account is also fine. Along with this, you also need to submit balance certificate of the bank which you use during your spouse study permit application. So coming to the list of documents which your spouse needs to arrange, their passport copies, visa copies showing departure and arrival stamps, the study permit, social insurance number, college enrollment letter issued by the university or college, the student ID card, and the lease agreement paper where they are currently residing. Our third category is letter. There are total seven different types of letters which you need to prepare and get the signatures. The first is SOP, Statement of Our Purpose. It plays a vital role in granting visa, so make sure you prepare a well-composed SOP. Next is invitation letter, written by your spouse, explaining the reasons to invite you. Then comes sponsor letter, 
from your parents. It's better to get a sponsor letter from the one who wrote for your spouse before. Next is work experience letter. If you have worked in more than one office, then make sure you collect it from all your employers. Your experience letter must reflect the proper duties and responsibilities as per your designation. If it's possible, then get the leave letter as well from your current workplace. I know most of the employers they won't provide us such leave letters, so it's okay even if you don't have, so you can keep it as optional. Next, the reference letter from from the college or university from where you graduated. Lastly, you need to get the letter from your marriage attendee mentioning they attended your marriage any so and so date. It can be from any relatives or friends except from your own family members. With this, you complete all the documents required to arrange for your visa application. You can now fill up the IRCC forms which are available in their official website. The forms should be filled online. And the forms are Work Permit Made Outside of Canada Family Information Form and Consent Form Talking about the application method, you can apply either online or paper-based. Regarding me, I made a paper-based application to skip the use of credit card required to pay the application fees. So in case of paper application, you need to prepare a bank draft before submitting it to the VFS office. Once you submit the application, you can get timely updates regarding your application status through email and SMS notification in your mobile phone. If you fulfill the document's requirement, your visa will be approved for sure. So take your time and arrange the documents very carefully. That's it guys. Hope I've been able to guide you for your spouse upon work permit application. Wish you all the good luck and prepare to be